Hey, y'all. I sure hope my harvest doesn't die this year. And I hope I'll find a warm haystack to sleep in tonight because I'm playing level 4 of fucking Battletoads of the Arctic Caverns. Now, I need to clarify something here. You see, as a southern gentleman, I don't understand cold weather. I don't understand ice or snow. I just don't get it. You know, we're, we're closely approaching wintertime, and the temperature around this region has been in the... Lately, it's been in the 70-ish range, though it started to cool down to a mild 50. But I haven't seen ice anywhere. I just don't understand it. I don't understand how it gets made, or what it's made out of. But I do know a few things about ice. I do know that there are these machines that make them, this new technology that dispenses ice automatically. Which I understand that's a big milestone in science. I mean, first we go to the moon, stem cells, and now we can make ice out of nothing. That's pretty amazing, but I'm not a big fan of it. I'm a big soda drinker, diet of course, and it just... How do I put this lightly? Drinking soda with ice in it tastes like I'm drinking my own violently liquidy diarrhea. And urine on top of that. It's like the urine is the ice in the soda of my bowel movements. And... Well, as you can imagine, that is not very delicious. So whenever I drink soda, I just try to down it before it gets too warm. No ice. Now, if you need ice and water, that's one thing. But, you know... In today's society, and this is some social commentary for you guys, who drinks water anymore? Hell, we've had a drought for a long time now, so I think a lot of people are starting to forget what water actually is. It's becoming a lost art. Kind of like cuneiform or reading. Those sorts of things. Oh yeah, the level. Now, I did mention earlier that... Level 3 and beyond, things get unforgiving. The game gives you absolutely no sense of mercy, and well, of the population that this game was distributed to, maybe 1% actually got beyond level 3 at the time. Thanks to Game Genies and other technology, though, people have gotten further in the game. I think the Game Genie allowed them to get to level 6 or so, but the Game Genie eventually just said fuck this after it saw the Snake Pit level and the Jet level. I can't say I blame it. But this level isn't so bad if you know what's coming. For example, if you know where all those little spiky sea urchins are, it's not terrible. That's an affirmation I actually say to myself very often. It's not terrible, it's not terrible, it's not terrible. And it's the only thing I can say that actually persuades me to play this game. And you have to watch where you're going, because if you slide a little too far like that, then you could easily slide into a thing. I think I forgot something up there. I w hey, what's going You like Battletoads. It is the most fun game that has ever been invented. And you won't stop until you beat the game. Twice. Battletoads is life. Battletoads is your mission. Battletoads is you. Uh, sorry about that. I think I, 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 I was on the floor when I woke up. I think I just passed out for a second. I guess I just took a power nap, but man, that power nap is just what I need because I feel really, really motivated to finish this game now. I might even play it through again. Nice. What do I have this weird scar on my side, though? Well, it's probably nothing. That was the Arctic Caverns. Battle <laughs> Coincidentally, every time I battle barf, little green pieces come out of me, so the Dark Queen knows her stuff. Surf City coming up.